The next step now is we are going to proceed in the real work. The, uh, our patient is sitting on the chair. Please notice that I am not putting any gloves so far. Before I, uh, and I just want to stress again, is that those barriers were placed in front of the patient. Though when we started there was no patient, but I just want, want to make sure is that the placement of the barriers just to guarantee that the confidence of the patient is that those barriers are, are placed in front of the patient. With ungloved hands, I'm going to take the red apron because the red apron is supposedly to be cleaned and disinfected and I will just place the red apron uh, on the patient. The next step is I'm going to work. Here I will take a new pair of gloves. And just place them on or sorry wear them wear them on clean or disinfect uh, disinfected hands. You can disinfect them with or either you can wash them with, with, uh, with soap or you can wash them uh, or you can use the purin, the alcohol and rub them until they are completely dry. When you bring the film, try to bring the film, a new one from the pack, put it in a cup. The cup's clean, now the film, both of them are clean. I'll just place the cup clean again. I want to stress is that have all these areas are clean uh, um, um, and in terms is that they were not they were not touched by gloved hands. Now the, the film is in my hands. I will go to the patient and I will place the film inside the patient's mouth. Suppose again, I'm sorry, I'm just my thoughts are coming to my mind. You have started your machine and you have set your exposure time as per the patient's size, the number of the tooth, and whether the film is digital or analog film. All these are set before the real placement of the film. So, start your machine, adjust your exposure factors, place the barriers, place the lead apron, and then you're going to put the film inside the patient's mouth. We will do, just for demonstration purposes, we will do the uh, upper central incisors. So, you approximate the cone the nearest possible to the to the tooth that is going to be radiographed, and then you're going to place the film inside the patient's mouth, and then you ask the patient to support the film by the index or the thumb. Fi uh, or the thumb. Now, once the film has been placed inside the oral cavity, it's contaminated, and my gloves are contaminated. I'm not allowed to touch anything now except for a part that is covered. Anything else is strictly forbidden to be held or touched by contaminated gloves. Now, if you notice that I'm going to move the cone the, anywhere I like, just to for, for, for the proper angulation, and I only touch it by the by the covered parts. And then, what I will do is that I place the cone. See my where I'm touching. Nothing else. These are forbidden areas for me now to be touched. That's why I said you should adjust your adjust uh, exposure factors beforehand. There is no idea of touching or adjusting the exposure factors after placement of the films, i.e. with contaminated gloves. Now, everything is ready for exposure. Now just go out, expose the film. And then, suppose, now the film has been exposed, x-ray has been taken, I go back, I just move the cone away from the patient to avoid interferences. Now I'll take the film from the patient's mouth, thank you honey, I'll take it, see what I will do. Now the film is contaminated, my gloves are contaminated. The next step, I want you to notice this please and concentrate on it. You don't touch anything. This is a contaminated glove, you just place it in the cup. 
don't touch the cup. You just throw the film or films, depends on the number of films that you have taken. Next, with contaminated gloves, I'm going to remove all the surfaces, all the covers that were touched. See, when I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I'm not touching anything by my contaminated gloves. Next, I'll remove this. Nothing is touched. The next step is that you just wrap all these together and dispose them in a dessert. Now, uh, now I'm free to touch everything, anything, because my, my, the, the things that were, the contaminated gloves have been removed. Next step is that you're going to remove the lead up room with ungloved hands, place it properly, and thank you very much, honey. We're done with this part. The next part will be how to process a film.